Welcome, welcome. What is up, good people? It is IG Paw, and I am back with my free to play account, free to play update. If you haven't seen my brand new beginner's guide, a lot changed from my G Paw's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, a lot of that's still relevant and can absolutely be followed, but absolutely it hasn't been updated. I will link the video at the end of this one. You should definitely watch that if you follow any of my guides. Just that way you have better, more up-to-date information. Things have changed. I've realized a few things. Um, and I got some better, more helpful recommendations in that video. So it will be linked at the end. Otherwise, uh, for all the new viewers out there, definitely like and subscribe. We're headed for that 1,000 subscribers. Smash that thumbs up if you like the content. Uh, both are free to do and just keeps you up to date when I put out new videos. You know, it helps my channel grow. Comment down below what you think of this account and if I'm going about it right. I'm never making another free to play again. Knock on wood, maybe someday in a couple years or something, but I plan to play this free to play um, in my main account for the foreseeable future. As long as I'm making YouTube videos, I'm going to be playing this free to play and I'm just done making new ones. So, all right, I want to talk about my arena team and who they're going to be. And this is how the guide goes as well. It's going to be based off your welcome counters and who you get. So, they're giving me this like they did last month, but they're not giving me a Scarlet Spider welcome counter so that kind of changed my web warrior pr perspective they're still giving me spider-man 2099 i'm going to use him as my arena team and my raid team they're giving me a symbiote welcome uh it's not enough to unlock these characters or nothing but it's just extra shards right leads you towards that i'm not going to be doing that it's just going to be characters that i'm collecting for later down the road now they do give this to uh commanders below level 51 so i don't know how long they're going to do this if it's going to be every month or what but we're going to be building Thal vol on day 35 that will be in my arena team raid team all that good stuff till we get black cat and such fall will be used a lot on my free-to-play account now secret avengers they're giving us maria hill and sharon carter i don't remember this last month maybe they gave it to us i can't remember but they gave us both this as well as nick fury welcome counter and that i didn't get this last month so I don't have to farm the Kree right away. I'm going to have Nick Fury at three stars on day 14. He's going to be in my arena team, one of my five best characters, um, as well as uh, in my raid team. So I'm going to go Secret Avengers, obviously, um, because they're giving us most of the tools to get Omega Red unlocked. Now, that being said, I, I got 50 Ultra Cores. I spent 30 on this calendar for Captain Sam. They give you 50 Ultra Cores when you start the game. So I spent 30 of them on this counter so I could have Captain Sam America. Otherwise, you can't farm him till Do More Chapter 2, Node 6, I believe. And you have to be level 75 plus to be able to even do those nodes. So they're locked until then. Otherwise, we, would only, we wouldn't be able to get him unless we got a lucky drop somewhere. So I went ahead and got the calendar. Now I have all three Secret Avengers with Nick Fury. And if nothing else, it's a great raid team, um, great Dark Dimension team. At least early on. I don't think I'm going to be taking everybody into Dark Dimension or nothing. I'm just saying it's a great start and I can invest in them as big as I want because I love the team. As well as they have other uses later on where I could use them in Doom Raids if I choose. They were the best skill team until Invaders. And until Invaders are more easily obtained or and or farmable, um, I'm going to go with this team, right? So it wouldn't be a wasted investment. But definitely base it off your calendars. Um... So I got the three Secret Avengers, Nick Fury, and Spider-Man 2099. That's going to be my main focus. And we're pushing an arena. I don't have any of... I got Sharon Carter. <laughs> this is my defense. Boom, 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 boom. And I bought this Silver Surfer pack for 10 Ultra Cores. It gave me 2,000 Power Cores, 10 Gold Orbs, and Silver Surfer. So that was quite phenomenal. As well as I think I got 1,000 Power Cores for signing in with Scopely. And I got Loki and a bunch of Gold Orbs. We got quite a bit of stuff starting the game out. So... These are the five I'm going to be building until I get someone from like Maria Hill or Nick uh, Fury to replace them. I'm going to be using these five. I built up Crossbones. I'll go and talk about that in campaign here. We're in the top 3,000 for Arena. Boom. We made it there. And this is day two being over level 30 as far as I know. We've been five days in a row. That counts five days old. Logged in for five consecutive days. We're doing really, really well. So in the campaign, what I did is I only went as far in villains as uh, Merc Lieutenant. I don't need to go any further except to get gear or characters later. Um, until I hit level 70, then I'd have to go in and I want to beat... At level 70, obviously, I, I'd want to beat this first node so I can get into Nexus and do more. But before that, I'm not worried about beating these campaigns except to get farm gear if I need to. So I got as far as I need. I'm done investing in villains until I get better villains. Loki's the only one that I even think is worth investing in at the moment, but I wanted to farm Merc Lieutenant for Payday. 
and Black Widow. So that's my current direction there. Now, Heroes, I'm trying to go as far as I can. I got stuck. I have been uh, farming Bullseye because there's nothing else to farm, as well as Kree. I'm still trying to get my Mercs to that Tier 3, get that 3 million gold starting off in the first month, hopefully, if we're lucky enough. Um, if not, by the second month. And then I'm not going to be taking Bullseye anymore. I'm going to wait for my Blitz drop and Raid drop for my other two Mercenaries. Now, I did farm Shocker because Sin 6 is an option, and I'm not going to ha be having the... Uh, nowhere team more than likely until they become farmable, right? I don't have access to them. So I'm farming Sin 6 at the moment as well as I had the extra energy. So I might as well spend it and the Kree. I did a lot of gear farming too. So uh, uh, Punisher obviously here for the skilled military. And then Nexus, we just started. I went all the way up and I maxed it out. Um, and I'm stuck until we reach level 39. So it'll be a little bit, another day or two. But we are rocking, right? Now, Blitz, I'm only doing two Blitzes a day, generally, as you can see, two out of 15. Um, I'm not pushing too hard into Blitz. I will do as much as I can, obviously, to try to be competitive in some of these earlier Blitzes, but I literally got five characters. It's not worth my time at this moment. I just get the first few milestones and call it good. Raids, I'm joining and actually losing the battles as I joined Marvel Corps United. So this is my second alliance that I started. It's part of the cluster. And they're doing lower level raids, but they are going to be dragging me through the ones they're doing. I'm actually similar gear level or account level to a lot of these people. We do have some bigger people in here. Um, but not many. You know what I mean? We're all similar, similar levels and such. So I will be getting bonus resources from these raids because I can't kill a single node. As you can see here, I did zero damage, but I did my fights. Um, we have seven, eight minutes left. We might have a few openings. And Marvel Core United. So if you're part of our Discord and you see this video, hit me up in personal messages over there. Not the main talking channel, but PM me on Discord and maybe we can get you in here. Um, I did zero damage. And you can see a lot of us are. But that's totally cool. They're dragging us through it. We're 30%ing it. And we're getting these awesome rewards. Whereas if we did the raid before this, we barely get crumbs. It's terrible in Gamma 2. And I guess I could actually show you that real quick. Gamma 2. So the rewards here, yeah, that's terrible, right? That's way less than we're getting, and that's at tier three. Let's look at tier one. It's it's not even worth doing other than to get your dailies done, right? So you might as well be doing 30% game of three if you can, and just participating to get the payout reward to help your account, right? Now, Ultima 6.5, they've actually been working towards this. They're kicking ass. Um, I haven't joined this one, I don't think, yet. No, I'm still down here. So I've been trying to join the same strike team in lane. So strike team two, lane six is already taken. So I just jump in where I can. My energy, as you can see, I've been spending my energy. I'll spend some once it gets a little bit fuller here before I go to bed. So I am getting these milestone rewards. And this is a lot of raid orbs, gear, and stuff to help my account grow. Um, and most people, when they start the game, they're going to join an alliance that already exists at level 20. Um, as soon as they get out of one of those strike teams, right? They're going to transfer over to an active alliance find an alliance that meets their requirements or somewhere they can thrive and they're going to get similar payouts from milestones and stuff from bigger players getting them right so this is actually pretty small this is intro level stuff here gamma 3 30 percent we're barely doing it ultima 6 5 we just finally did that today and we're actually going to stay i think here in 6 5 and alternate with 7 1 more than likely just so that way we can get the blue ability materials right here because a lot of us are newer we need those blue ability materials and that wasn't my decision i actually have several captains i've made in the alliance and i've been trying to let them you know kind of steer the boat and lead the way um and they're doing amazing so i just want to kind of point them out here g990 j e g i believe is how that's pronounced Co correct me if i'm wrong uh j e 990 is it g990 raybant barracuda magoo Tadfish, uh, all four showed really solid promise and are very active in Discord. And they're working together. They're communicating about how to go about raids and which ones to do and when. It's quite phenomenal. They're also updating when we're like need 0.5% uh, left on a raid. They're doing a call out. Hey, you know, two hours left. We need this little bit. You know, it's really, really good. And there's other great members in the Alliance as well that are also communicating. You know what I mean? And helping. Um straight up and it's just it's it's thriving good you know if you don't have to lead 
don't worry that you're not leading. You know what I mean? But if you are stepping up, that's awesome. And if I were the other members, I would just say kind of watch what people are doing and how they communicate. And then just if you want a captainship, definitely talk to me in Discord and we'll get you there. You know what I mean? It's just more knowing what you're doing and kind of communication things. Um, and all it is is really starting raids, helping members, giving advice, you know, being the backbone of the Alliance. It's quite wonderful. Um, it's more responsibility than it is pleasure, I'd like to think. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, it's, it's awesome. So in stores, we're buying everything unless we have 100. As you can see, I did not buy these. These are catalysts. I'm not even equipping purple gear at this moment. So let's just reset, actually. I'll show you what I buy. I always buy the greens. Until we get to 100 on the blues. Now, I'm not buying the purple catalyst because it's no. No, it's not happening. I need a ton of blue gear right now for newer characters. Once I get to 100, I stop buying things. And I am buying these purple ones. Like, this is a skill piece. I don't buy the catalyst though. And I never buy these syringes. Um, advanced Bloodborne Nanobots. I don't know even who it's used for, but like this is the least utilized gear material in the game as far as I know. Or at least it used to be, so I don't even buy them. I just get them as I get them. And you'll be using tons of these more than likely. And I buy all these other uh, mini uniques. Boom. Always buy the purple and blue ones until you have several thousand. I would say like two or three thousand of each before you quit buying them because you're gonna burn through them fast. One team will just eat them up. Now I have not been buying Shang-Chi on my account. I already know which five I'm gonna be using. As I unlock him, I will use him and build him more than likely. We shall see, but I've been opening orbs. Just straight up opening orbs. I already know my five arena characters. I should unlock Shang-Chi, but I'm not, I'm not even gonna sweat it, man. You know what I mean? Here in the store, I am buying, uh, when they pop up, Icarus, Baron Zemo, and Cloak. And out of here, I've been buying Dagger. And then I'll be buying Red Guardian once I got Dagger unlocked. I guess we have extra arena credits, so we're going to go ahead and get him too as well. Got him twice now, it looks like. And those are the two I'm going to focus till they're unlocked at least, and I'll keep Red Guardian with his team going up. I might grab uh, M'Baku and Deadpool a little bit. Just because I want to build the X-Force for uh, Doc Ock Unlock. And I like the team. So that's a personal choice, not a recommendation. We're going to open this Arena Orb and see if we can get Deathlock. I highly recommend against these because they cost 800 Arena credits usually. And it's just not good till mid to end game. As you see, this is not good. I just spent 800 Arena credits on this. I think you can buy this guy for 300 Arena credits directly. It's just not even worth it. Now sometimes you can get training modules to drop. And that's why in-game players do it is because they own all the characters. But otherwise, it's not even worth it at all. I I would highly recommend ever open against ever opening those. So that would just cost us 350 instead of 800. And that other piece of gear was not worth the extra arena credits in my opinion. So, but yeah, that's how we're rocking it, man. Oh, and we did buy one other offer with our last 10 ultra cores in here. We didn't get the orb palooza, which is a great option if you want to go that way as well. But I got one where it was a thousand power cores for 10 ultra cores. So I went ahead and bought that. You can see we're at almost 6,000. We got 2,000 from the Silver Surfer offer for 10 Ultra Cores. We got 1,000 from the 10 Ultra Cores. And then we got, uh, I think, another 1,000 from the Loki. And then the rest is just from first-time rewards, essentially. I had somebody comment, how do you have so many Power Cores in your videos? And it's like, well, if you just do your 450 Core refreshes, you spend a million seventy-five thousand gold a day. Um, and you place in the top four, 500 or 250 of the arena, mainly 250 and above. These will start to accumulate rather quickly, or at least they'll grow. And then the top 100, top 50, they'll really accumulate. So on my main account, I'm actually building back up right now, but I'm accumulating quite well. And that's really all I got for this video. I just kind of want to talk about my main account, what I'm doing, the five I'm focusing on, Nick Fury, uh, Cat America Sam, Sharon Carter, Maria Hill, and then Vol on day 35. Before that, for my fifth, will be Spider-Man 2099. I'll probably drop Maria Hill or Sharon Carter for Vol. We'll have to see at that point. Plus, we got a Mega Orb coming up and tons of other Orb drops. So if we get something amazing, my arena team could change, right? So we'll see as we go. But that's my five starting out. I'm actually going to go spend my energy and do a little bit of uh, blitzing here. Um, but I hope you all had an amazing weekend. And I hope you have a great work week. So we'll catch you all in the next one.